Radio Shouty. Now, for those that are out of town trying to figure out Scott Dale, man, break that down to him, man. Man, listen, Scott Dale is the cocaine capital, man. I don't, you Ooh. know what I'm saying? I just gonna keep it all the way a thousand with you, man. Ain't nothing but some, wasn't nothing but some trapping going on when I came up. You know what I'm saying? Either we were trapping, you know what I'm saying? You know, when I was young, we used to wait on the OG to go to Jazz and T's and then yeah. shout stop they trout. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Like, this this just where it was with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this what we know. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, man, we knew few football. Everybody say football and basketball and all that. We knew few football players, few basketball players. One or two rappers, you know what I'm saying? We didn't know. We ain't know none of that. But everybody we know, everybody who we saw Ryan Fancy car, wearing chains, kicking their flavor, looking like they doing something with their life, they so dope. Come on. So now, on another note, as a father, Joe, young Joe, on that football field. Thanks. Talk to me about that. How you feel seeing that young man go crazy <laughs> on that field? The boy be going crazy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The boy be going crazy, man. And I love it, bro. I had a thing for football when I was young. Yeah. Like I said, it wasn't nobody really for me to look up to Them. on that. You know what I'm See, saying? I hate to cut y'all, but I talk about that all the time. Yeah. Coming up in the hood, we don't have enough points of reference to be able to say he did it so I can do it too. Yep. And it just makes you say, well, I see him do that. I can do that. I can Easy. do that. You, know you what, what I'm saying? Facts. But now, break it down to me. You say you had the love for the game. Yeah, I had I had love for the game, bro. Like, uh, I wanted to I wanted to play football, man. I uh, I left the hood from like 6th to 7th grade and uh, – I had a coach by the name of Coach Jones. He had some kind of belief in me yeah. in football, bro. So I had built the love for the game, man. I went to uh, move back to the hood in the eighth grade, went to Clarkson, and, uh, you know, played. I played eighth and ninth grade, but streets, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> streets say, streets say, but this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? When all my cousins, all my cousins, hey man, we count money. Yeah. We kicking flavor, man. We doing this and that. I mean, need you to you to say like, bro, why you going to football practice for? Bro, yeah. like, come on, bro, we're so much money out here. You know what I'm saying? That's how we were kicking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was getting money and playing football, but I was missing some money playing football. So, you know, that how it was going. It it went it went it went in the cards for me, bro. It, it just won. You know what I'm saying? Now looking at little Joe do his thing. How you feeling being able to be there for him during this whole transition in his life too? Hey, it's it's a blessing, man. Cause you know, I I remember them days looking up in the stands and want nobody in the stand for me, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's the real. number one killer of that's, an athlete's man, dream. That's a different feeling. Come bro. on, man. I done you know been there. Saying? I know about bro, that. I don't think I ever missed a game, bro. From from little league to now, bro. Like my God. I mean, if I had a show out of town, bro, I'm either gonna leave before after. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I don't think I ever missed the game, bro. I, I just try to, I just try to let him know that somebody killed about it. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? And get what, man? He taking it, and he running with it, man. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? I love it. So now for you though, Joe, going forward in this music and maneuvering in this A, man, how do you think stuff is gonna be different after COVID, man? Do you think it's ever gonna get back to normal? Man, I don't think so, man. <laughs> man how this job going, man? Yeah, I don't think I don't think life will never be just normal. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, I think uh, I think we just got to deal with what we deal with. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and uh, cause like I said, it's a lot of stuff that went on during COVID behind closed doors with people, bro. Yeah, that you know a lot of people would never know. That was life changing, bro. Facts. You know Facts. what I'm saying? And I just don't think people gonna come out of it the same way they went into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think, but I do think it's gonna be a lot of people who who come out bigger, better, and braver. Facts. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. I do think that. 